Hello, Virgos. I am Leah with Enlightened Mystic Essentials. And today I am here to help you with facing your fears, maybe regrets, um, before the year of 2019. So starting out, we're going to use the Dark Miracle Oracle deck to get some fears and maybe regrets. And we are going to clarify the Dark Mirror Oracle deck with... The hidden realm of wisdom. This is the deck that I use to um, communicate with spirit, divine spirit, mm -hmm. my ancestors or your ancestors to figure out um, what is the best spiritual approach to the uh, fears. So, spirit for Virgos, what is... A fear that they may face in December to be ready for 2019 at this time. Whew. All right, now look. One came out. You have, I won't cry for you. This is the same card Taurus had. And, you know, it's a lot that goes with this, with this card. And I won't cry for you hides. Downcast the pride. So for your first fear facing. I won't cry for you. And downcast the pride. Mm -hmm. Spirit 4. Virgos. What is another fear that they may face. For the month of December. Can you see it? This is a card of uh, sacrifice, but it is in reverse and it crosses out downcast the pride. So Virgo not sacrificing and the downcast the pride. Mm -hmm. I see now we have a different read from all other signs. A, a couple signs have been having different reads. Okay. So, I hear spirits say, no fear, no regret. You know how like, um, what is it? Like a, uh, gosh, no retreat. No, like, a, you know, like a, a, a fighting movie. No, no pain. Gain, no pain, loss, something like that. I don't know. We're going to figure it out. That's what I hear. Um, another fear Virgos may face in the month of December, spirit. Another fear. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Revenge. Just like, um, who was it? Taurus. Oh, my God. <laughs> Revenge. So listen, Virgo. I'm a person who reads colors. And I am a person that reads numbers as well. So I'll go over these numbers with you all as well. And explain everything. So now we are going to get into the hidden messages in the spiritual realm. So <clears throat> I see it. It's the first one. Okay, it, it, this is what it is. This is how your reading is. You have, I won't cry for you. Mm -hmm. Paired with downcast the pride. So downcast the pride is going to be in the middle. Because also for downcast the pride, you have no um, uh, sacrifice. Okay. So downcast the pride is going to be splitting those two. Because the... Um, Sacrifice came out and reversed on top of downcast of pride. So, for the first hidden wisdom message, Spirit, for I won't cry for you and downcast the pride for Virgo. What is the hidden message that is in the spiritual that can be seen in the physical? What is? Thank you. Oh, the arrow master. Upright, this card is hitting your mark. Yeah, in the intention. Mm hmm. Hitting your mark upright and intention. Okay. So spirit four. Downcast the pride. 
and no sacrifice. What is the hidden wisdom here? Downcast of pride, no sacrifice. What is the hidden message? Oh, come on. Now. Excuse me. It is the spirit whisperer. The spirit whisperer upright uh, talks about divine intelligent, intelligence and higher knowing. Higher knowing. Something that you know or the divine stepping in to assist you in your uh, mental knowledge. And over here to this revenge. Listen Virgo. We don't need to see you on the local news or the world news like I told Taurus. Okay? We don't we don't 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 go do nothing you're gonna regret with this revenge, please. Spirit <laughs> for Virgos. Why it what is the hidden message here for revenge for Virgos? What's the hidden wisdom here? Okay, not too bad. And it's facing you all. This is facing you all. The wise woman of Wonderland. Integrity and compassion. No, compromise. Integrity and compromise. Okay. So now let's 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 here we go. Let's get into these. Your first one out. I won't cry for you. Mm -hmm. This number is four. Because 2 plus 2, see the 22 down here? It's 4. This is what's in the root. I won't cry for you. And the thing about this pit, listen, out of all the cards in the deck, this is the one that I dislike the most. Because it sounds, you know, this, this card sounds so hard. I won't cry for you. It could, it could, it can mean so many things. But the thing here, I want you to notice, this lady that's in this picture, she's crying tears of blood. And I tell you, no, um, red represents blood, love, or defeat, Virgo. That is blood coming out of her eyes. Let me see if I can. Here I go messing with this light again. But look. And then don't forget the fact that she's offering you blood. That's a vial of blood there. She's crying blood and she's offering you blood. I don't know. I won't cry for you. The foundation, the root. Blood coming out of her eyes. You know, she's offering blood. Mm -hmm. I won't cry for you. And then it's paired and it's then it's paired with downcast of pride. Um uh, Virgo. Earth sign. Right? Mm -hmm. And then it says hitting your mark. And it's a lady here with an arrow. And then let's see. This is the root. What's in the root? I won't cry for you. Is it that you all cried out? Or is it that you're crying from the inside out? Because this offer that she's trying to offer is coming from the heart. It's coming from the heart area. You see that? It's, she's offering it from her chest. Mm-hmm. And that's a root. That's the four. And this is you choosing. Because see, that's a 20. That's 20. Number 20. But the zero drops. And it becomes two. Two represents choices. Conversations. Debating. And pairs. Two. Two. And now you have hitting your mark. Hit the arrow master. It's 10, which is really a 1, because the 0 drops and it becomes 1 you, 1, 1 you, 1 journey, 1 thought. Mm -hmm. So let's see, I won't cry for you. Let's find out what needs to be uh, 
surrender, release, or accept it. I'm out. I won't cry for you. To clarify, I won't cry for you. What do Virgo need to surrender, release, or accept about this? I won't cry for you. Thank you, Spirit. Uh-oh. Surrender to rest and sleep. Surrender to rest and sleep. Because you have been giving of yourself so much that you literally giving away your uh, life energy, uh, blood. That's that life precious. If you don't have blood, you don't have life. I won't cry for you, but tears of blood, maybe because you your regular tears, you know, like the salt tears that you cry, the white ones, the clear ones that roll down your face. Maybe they're all gone to that literally you're crying blood because you have given away of uh, of yourself and you're steady trying to give away your life energy that's blood that's blood if you are offering it and giving it away or you are crying it you are losing it that's that it it says to prevent burnout slow down burnout of uh you giving of your blood giving away yourself your life energy uh, aka burnout because if you don't have uh any life energy you don't have life and blood is life honor your need for quiet time and peaceful sleep to rejuvenate your mind body and spirit what you got going on here this is in the root you i won't cry for you yeah because i will bleed for you literally but the thing about this uh virgo who the hell is you talking to i won't cry for you you either talking to somebody or thinking about somebody and whatever this is or whoever this is that you're thinking about talking to it's time for you to go to sleep get you some rest because when you sleep, your body rejuvenates life, a.k.a. life energy. That blood that you're giving away, yeah, that, 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 that's why it's in the root right there. The four is the foundation, the structure, uh-huh, the root, yeah. You're giving away of your blood, you're giving away yourself, you're giving away of your life energy. Whew, that's why it says... Honor your honor your need to it says honor your need for quiet time and peaceful sleep to rejuvenate mind, body, and spirit. And mind, body, and spirit requires all of this what you're giving away. That blood. Listen. Don't give away of yourself that uh literally uh you know you uh end yourself. You know, end life you don't have no blood left in your body yeah don't don't no we're not doing that and then it says downcast the pride you choosing downcast the pride because you're living in your head or you and you don't have a heart you are an earth sign you are about grounding so you need to make a choice because that's a two right there do you want to be an air sign and live in your head do you want to be a, a water sign and live in your emotions? Because see, those are the roots within water. And there is no heart there. So we can X out the uh, fire sign because, you know, the heart is what drives the fire sign. So where the hell is the grounding? Are they saying that you're rooted? Because that's grounding in your emotions at this time. Because I just asked you who the hell is you talking to? Are you talking to somebody who uh is requiring that you give them your life energy? Huh? They just said uh to prevent burn out, slow down. Slow down on what, Leah? Giving away your life energy. And you just done gave of yourself so much that you don't know if you want to be in your head or you want to be grounded in your damn feelings. But, uh, hello, you are an earth sign. Mm -hmm. And it's saying that you're grounded in your emotions because uh, you cry when you're emotional. But here you're crying blood. 
Not the regular little salty tears. Yeah. Your nose not even running. Mm -hmm. You know how your nose run when you cry. Here you just looking like you mad as hell. And you saying, huh, take this too. You gonna leave me? You gonna take my last drop of blood? No, hell no. Because you gonna um, get you some sleep and re uh, recover. That's what this hitting, uh, this is what the arrow master is about. Hitting your mark. Yeah. Hitting your mark of getting sleep to recover your life energy. Mm-hmm. Virgo. Yeah. Now let's find out what needs to be surrendered, released over here at this uh intent. Because remember, the arrow master upright is intent too. And what is this number? One. Yeah. One you, one journey, one thought. The intent is the thought. Spirit for Virgos. What do they need? Surrender, release, or accept about downcast or pride? What? Okay. You got to. You got to. And it falls hitting those two face down on top of uh, the arrow master. Mm -hmm. So the first one out is worry. 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 Downcast the pride. Don't you need to surrender to uh, not worrying because it says make a commitment not to lead an anxiety driven life. When worries arise, breathe them out of your body, focus on the power of your heart and have faith that spirit is guiding you always right here. It says. Focus on the power of your heart. Well, uh, even though you don't have a heart here, you're still grounded in your emotions. Yeah. And then on top of your head is a, a crown of, uh, it, it, you know, it kind, you know, it kind of looked like gold, but because this, this, this elf or whatever she is, because she got like elf like ears. Yeah, she an elf. She on a gold crown. That's the faith. When it says focus on your power of your heart. That's your emotions. And it says have faith that spirit guides you always. That's the crown which you wear. And it's upon your head. Spirit guides you and leads you through your head. Because that is where your uh, um, seventh chakra is housed at. Yeah. The crown. Literally. The crown. So no need to worry. And then it says. Uh, surrender to your full power. Uh huh. Yeah. It says your life is calling for you to step into your full power. How can you step into your full power if you giving away your life energy? Mm -hmm. You're literally giving it away. And you're crying it out. What is going on? Uh huh. It says. Step into your full power. Rather than playing it small. Rather than playing it small. You know. When you sleep. You know. And rejuvenate yourself. Yeah, that's when the power comes in like a lion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and when you stop worrying mm -hmm. about this downcast of pride, mm -hmm. that's why she's here with that spear in her hand. Because uh, spears and swords and arrows, they all are uh, air tools, mental tools, you know. Yeah. For uh, hitting your mark. For having the intentions of hitting your mark. That's what it's about. So Virgo. Listen. Stop giving away your life energy. Stop giving away your power. Your life energy is your power. Why you think they just. Hello. Yeah. It's right here. And in order to regain yourself. You have to sleep. And you have to stop worrying. About this here. It's like a shame. How the hell? But of course you're going to feel like that. Because 
You rooted in your emotions. I'm a water sign. I can tell you all about that. You don't know if you want to be in your damn emotions or you want to be in your head because you had strong hair. Mm -hmm. You wear a crown upon your head. I'm glad spirits say they stepping in to guide your head because you need guidance. But this is a card of two. You choosing. What are you choosing? You choosing your faith over your emotions or you choosing your emotions over your faith? Because they just said that your faith is the spirit guides your faith. And this is your heart. But technically uh, it's a given because you don't have a heart here. Where the heart at? Tell me. Tell me. Tell me in the comments where you see the heart at. I just want to make sure you see. Those are, those are all roots. With their water. Emotions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you got to get up out of that. Now let's move over here to this. Oh yeah. Now let me move down. Cast the pride out over here. So the shame. Remember I just told you down. Cast the pride is like a shame. You're not sacrificing. I'm not sacrificing for this shit. For what shit? For the shame. I'm not sacrificing not one dime. One drop. Of whatever. Because see. Upright. You know. Upright. This card means. You getting suited up. You know. Booted up. To go to war. But then you go to the enemy. And tell the enemy to kill you. With your armor on. Right. That's upright. Here. Oh you ain't going for it. That's what I'm talking about. So you telling me. The downcast. The pride. Leo, I ain't going for it. No sacrifice. No sacrifice needed. That's what it say. And then let's not forget that uh, seven is a card of self-reflection. And you say you're not sacrificing for it. And why are you not sacrificing for it? Because uh, divine guidance is here. Uh-huh. And what number is that? Three, creation. Yeah, see that three? That's the creation. Hm. Yeah. No. No, you're not going for it. Ain't no down playing, down casting. Ain't none of that. Mm -hmm. It's either my head or my emotions. Those are only two choices I have. So those are the only two choices uh, that I choose from. And I'm not sacrificing for any of it. I'm just going to go, go with the flow. Mm -hmm. Because see, this seven... Oh, right, seven plus this two, mm -hmm. yeah, plus this two, that's a nine plus this three, that's a three right there. So, nine plus three is 12, one plus two is three. It's all about creating. This is this, 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 all this is about you creating, right? And even if I was to take this off, two, two plus the seven is a nine. Selflessness, spirituality, university, you know, like universal, spirit, universe, mm -hmm. selflessness, selflessness, I'm not sacrificing, mm -hmm. yeah, so that's beautiful, go ahead Virgo, so spirit, for Virgo, mm -hmm. being divinely guided, Mm -hmm, what you hear, mm -hmm, spirit, and them refusing to sacrifice for downcast the pride. What would they need to surrender, release, or accept about this creation? All right, y'all. We have two spirits. They take the top one, and the other two other supports. So this says, surrender to beauty of the natural world. Take a relaxing break mm -hmm. and, and spend time in nature. Uh, Virgo, you are an earth sign, right? This is all about your element here. You strengthening and rejuvenating and standing in your power through the world, through nature. Replenish yourself by Feeling the beauty and the ecstasy there. Hello. All you need to do is take off your shoes and walk through the backyard. Yeah. 
When you go to the beach, take off your shoes. Your earth sign is all about grounding yourself. Yeah, don't forget that I, I tell you things that are going to help you here. I'm not about selling things that are going to help you here. I'm going to tell you what you need to do for the betterment of you. You are an earth sign. Earth signs only have to take off their shoes and walk. Go check your mailbox with no shoes on. That's grounding yourself. I am a water sign. I can go to any pond, river, or ocean. Put my feet in the water. Water, And if I can't do that, I can go take a shower every night and, 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 and empower myself. I can go get a glass of water and drink me some water and empower myself. So an earth sign, all you have to do is walk barefoot outside. That's how you power up your earth sign. Plain and simple. Others may want to charge you for the information, but that's not what I'm about. I'm going to tell you. And now it's here. It's here. Surround, surrender to the beauty of the natural world. Take a relaxing break and spend time in nature. When you go to the park, take off your shoes, wear you some flip flops. When you when you go on a on a trail, uh, now hold on, I don't want to tell you to touch no leaves. I don't want anybody to get no. Uh, what what can I tell you to do? Pick up a stick or something, twirl it in your hand, or smell the flowers. That's what Earth signs do. And then it says, surrender to the beauty of the natural world. But you have to also uh. Surrender unhealthy relationships and surrender to wonder and awe. Those are the supports to this natural world. Yeah. You know, it's just that simple. Now let's get over here to this revenge. Oh my geez. This number is 23. 2 plus 3 is 5. This is the changes what's needed. What needs to change is this revenge factor. You walking around with your swords in your hand and you're mad as hell because you're walking. Because you don't look at you, where your wings at. Those are bones like wings where the, where the wings was. Those are the bones. Then there's nothing else to catch the air to take flight anymore. You are literally here a dark angel. Yeah. And then it says... Clarify the hidden wisdom is integrity and compromise. Mm -hmm. Who has made you upset? Who has made you mad? At the end of the day, it don't matter because the only thing you need to worry about is changing the revenge factor to bring in integrity and compromise to the situation. And what is this number three? The creation of integrity. The, uh, yeah, see the three right there? Uh, the, 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 the creation of um, com, com, you know, compassion. No. Compromise. Com yeah, with compassion too. Yeah. Let's see why. Spirit. And then we, once I finish with this, we're going to go back and learn what you're going to gain as you do these surrenders and these releases and this acceptance. Okay? So, Spirit, for Virgos, <laughs> clarify what I, they don't, don't, don't go, don't be on the, don't be on nobody TV, Virgo, please. Every time I see this uh, revenge card, I just go crazy. Because, see, now y'all stepping into one of my components. Revenge, I'm a Scorpio. You know, and you and when this comes up, you tell me how you want it. You want it short and wide, or long and deep. That's what. That's look. Look, look at your stance. Your arms are ready to swing either way. You're so tensed up. You ready to go? You ready to swing your sword and stick your dagger? Really, Virgo? Y'all got to get it together. <laughs> Spirit for Virgo. <laughs> Clarify this uh, revenge. What do they need to surrender, release, or accept about this revenge? Woo! What do they thank you? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Surrender your need to always be right. Listen. This card is about conversating 
and debating. Mm. No wonder the revenge is here. But usually, when this uh, card comes up and it says, the, 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 you know, surrender your need to always be right. This is a card of uh, debating because there are two people here. You know, a pair. That's what two is. A pair, conversation, or debate. And it says, give others the gift of letting them be right. Be yielding and not rigid. Give, up, give others the gift. Not this gift. You know, you coming in here to, de to deliver these uh, blows with the swords and these and the stick with the with the dagger. Yeah, no, no, they're not talking about that because they're telling you that's what need to change. Yeah, that that no. Mm -mm. It says be yielding, uh, cautious, not rigid, uh, not weak. But see, they not telling you Virgo to be yielding, cautious. And rigid wheat. They telling the other people. Spirit coming in trying to warn the other people. Hey when you over here talking to this damn Virgo. Y'all better. You, you better be scared. Cause Virgo got this sword and these daggers. They ready to take off some heads. And stab some hearts. Yeah. Mm -mm. This, this will help resolve. Conflict. That's the conflict. That's why uh, revenge is a number of change. Five. Mm -hmm. Down there. Five. Mm -hmm. Look at you. Just look at you. And improve your relationship. This is the improvement to the relationship. That's why it's creation. Creation of integrity and um, compromise. Because you compromise in relationships. You compromise. Yeah. You don't kill each other and have your ass on the news behind bars. That's why change is needed. You change the revenge factor to the creating of integrity and um, compromise in a um, relationship of any relationship, situation, partnership, any um, type of um, people or person, whoever you need to talk to, speak with. It could be a boss, it could be a brother, a sister, an aunt, an uncle, whoever, anybody. But it, it takes two to uh, conversate and not debate. No arguing. Debating is arguing. That's not what we're here for. Now, let's go back from the beginning. And let's see what you will gain here, Virgo. Okay. So going back to I won't cry for you, saying that you're going to stop giving people your life energy, right? And you're going to stop uh, worrying about this downcast of pride because uh, spirit is here and spirit say he runs your head because you're grounded in water and when you should be grounded in the earth because you are earth sign. So if Virgo spirit surrenders to uh rest and sleep for i won't cry for you surrenders to worry for downcast the pride which all will be surrendered to the full power and hitting their mark what will they gain look at that why is it everything want to hide virgo you see that yeah you see that <laughs> voice of truth Stand strong. Focus on your purpose. Release the fear. Release the fear. Release the fear. Release the spirit fear of worry. Release the fear of not getting enough rest because you want to give away your life energy release the worry uh-huh and it's downcast the pride mm -hmm. you need to surrender to the full power of you so you can hit whatever mark you trying to hit yeah speak your truth speak your truth 
I asked you who the hell you was talking to here. Mm -hmm. Who are you talking to? You ain't talking to me. You talking to somebody. Look how you looking at these people. Crying tears of blood. Offering blood. So you just got un uh, uh, limited, uh, unlimited uh, amount of blood. You can just supply it. I'll just give away all your life force. They probably ain't even worth it. And you just giving it to them. And then when they, and then when they when you don't give it to them, they make you feel all bad inside. Hell no. That's not what we going for. And now you got to fight with yourself. Then should I give it to them? Should I should I not? Should I should No, that's the worry. Who going for that? Who going y'all look, no. You better get better than me. Cause you, you ain't getting nothing over here. No, because the people who asking you for it, they probably ain't even, you need to speak up. That's why they say speak the truth, voice of truth. Yeah, that's what you're going to gain. You're going to gain your own voice to tell them, uh, no, not, I don't have it anymore. Uh, uh, yeah, um, I, I learned how to be, uh, you know, I, I, if I can't be grounded in my own element, I learn how to follow my head because spirits say, uh, faith is in my head and he guides my head. Yeah, yeah, that's what you need. Over here to this um, refu refusing to sacrifice for this downcast of pride here. Yeah. I don't blame you. I wouldn't. I would not. Spirit. For Virgos. Mm -hmm, not sacrificing for this uh, downcast of pride because they are, are being divinely guided. Mm -hmm, and they are going to accept. The beauty of the natural world because they are all earth signs and want wondering ah mm -hmm, and they are going to release these unhealthy relationships. Mm -hmm. What will they gain for these surrenders? What will they gain? Soul expansion fell out on top of um surrender to the beauty of the natural world. They fell out on top of it. soul expansion, soul growth. Your you know your soul growth, your soul success. Yeah. Expansion. Your consciousness is expand expanding. You understand the connection between all things. You understand the connection between all things. You understand the fact that the world is connected to spirit and spirit is connected to the world. And if you are of the world, so you are of spirit. And if you are of spirit, you are of the world. Yeah. That's how I go, baby. Spirit, yeah. And you know what? The funny thing about it is, this is the first time I've seen sacrifice in reverse. If it was not for spirit being here and guiding you, your ass would not be, you will be sacrificed the hell up, just like Scorpio, suited up for the slaughter, literally. Suited up for the slaughter. But I'm glad that divine um, guidance is here because you say, no, 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 no. No sacrifice here today. Yeah, Leah, I don't see myself because member seven is a self-reflection number. Uh, going to sacrifice, uh-uh. Especially not for this downcast of pride. Screw that. Yeah, because you know why? Spirit just say he, he guides your head. You have, you know. You you can't you're grounded in your emotions right now. That's not what you're about. You're about earth sign. You you know you you you're the grounding sign. And if you can't be in your element, you would want to be where spirit is guiding you at. And right now he's guiding you in your head. That's why you wear a golden crown upon your head. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Virgo, Virgo. Gotta get over here to this revenge. <laughs> Spirit. If Virgo accepts the integrity to change the revenge and learns to compromise and understand that they're, they are not always right because mm -hmm, they have to surrender this, what will they gain? That came out quick. And it crosses over soul expansion. You see that? 
Mm -hmm. Transcendence. You know what that is? Going up, moving forward, advancing, growth, success, abundance. Yeah. Of soul expansion. Yeah. Okay, understanding the connection of all things, moving forward, more you you learn 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 knowledge, 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 more knowledge, and you want more knowledge because that expands your mind, and the more you know, the more you can apply to move forward. Rise up, honor your inner force. You know what that is? This is the same thing you was over here giving away. I kept saying life energy. Yeah. Steps are being given. I'm giving you the steps now. What's the fears? What you need to release? What's the hidden wisdom? And what you will gain? See the steps? It says dance with the universe. Dance with the universe. Well, what is universe? Didn't I just tell you what the universe and what, what, what it is? This is the universe. Mm -hmm. So the beauty of the natural world and spirit. Mm -hmm. Spirit and the beauty of the natural world. That is transcendence. Yeah, that's how you grow, honey. That's how you move forward. That's how you, um, you know, keep taking those positive steps into um, growth and success in your life. Come on, Virgo. That's how that works. Plain and simple. So remember. Stop giving away your life energy. That's why the blood is here. You are literally giving it away. And you are crying it out from the inside. And don't let nobody make you feel ashamed. About you not giving your uh, life energy away. And you don't uh, worry. About what people say. Yeah. Forget them. And to rebuild and rejuvenate this, you uh sleep. Go to sleep. That's how your body replenishes itself, right? In between you getting enough of rest and not worrying, you will become full, fully empowered. Mm -hmm. And when these people come in mm -hmm, and try to say, hey... I need some more of your energy, your life force, your blood, your life precious. And they try to make you feel bad. You aim at them. Mm -hmm. So you can hit them because now they your mark. And you hit them with the truth. Listen, I don't have no more energy to give you. And I don't care about what you say to try to make me feel bad about it. And you know why you going to um, say that to them? Because you're going to be standing up in your uh, power. This lion, what do you want? Do, do you want to give them the lion or you want to give them the lady with the spear? Or you want to give both of them to them? When the people come in and ask you for your life energy. Just plain and simple. Now see, this is what I don't get. How can you give away your life energy and make some, and then somebody makes you feel all sad inside. But then you come over here and you say, oh, I'm not sacrificing uh, for the shame, I'm not, I'm not, uh-uh, baby. You're not sacrificing for this, but you accepting this with this. Come on, Virgo. No. D Let me tell you something. This is crucial, and this sacrifice is crucial. You saying, I'm not sacrificing, but I give you my life energy. How the hell that work? That don't go. No. No. But then you sit here and you say, I won't cry for you. But look what you offering up. Do it make sense? I think not. Yeah. Mm -mm. I think not. So listen. Virgo, I am Leah. We're enlightened. That's guided, informed, knowledgeable. Mystic is spiritual or otherworldly outside this physical world. Essentials. Life force. Life journey. Life force. <laughs> life force. 
life journey, life path, life journey path. Um, hopefully you can get this message before the first of the year and start working on these fears, okay? And like I told Taurus, it's not about you marking all of these fears off your list. It's about you working on them to uh, try to knock them and get them off. And spirit is going to see the um, accomplishments or spirit is going to see the um, energy that you put forth in to removing these regret, these fears because you didn't have no regrets. And spirit is going to come in and give you a boost. That push, that push. Where is it? Right here. This is that push. This is a push. It's right here. Soul expansion and transcendence. All of it's about growth and moving forward. So, listen. That's what you need to do. Help is here. And, you know, stand up for yourself. Open your mouth. Speak your truth, please. And tell them people know whoever's coming in to try to drain you dry. Because you know how people do. They want to take, 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 take. As long as you give, 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 give. And this right here is life. You don't want to give that away. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you giving right now. You don't even have no reserves left. Yeah, no, 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 no. You got to have something to fall back on. And it's like a 50-50 because it's like a half moon here. You know, if you on the fence about what you should do, don't do it about this. I won't cry for you. I'm still trying to figure out who are you talking to? Who are these people coming in asking you for your life energy, your life force, your blood? What is it? They say blood, sweat, and tears. Same thing. You know who these people are. Mm -hmm. Stand up and tell them no. No, I won't sacrifice my life, precious, like on, on Harry Potter, precious, that little ring, yeah, same thing, except you don't have to put a ring on your finger, it's within your body, get you plenty of rest, please, because the spirit told, yeah, sleep. Because this is how you rejuvenate and replenish your blood. Your life force. Your life energy. Ah, sleep. Okay. Virgo. Be on the lookout for the energies read. The energies read uh, for the new year is going to tell you what energies uh, is coming towards you. Whether it be people, messages, whatever. Um, and they usually back up. These uh, facing our fears. Okay. And don't forget I'm Leah.